Circumcise Henrietta Lacks. The curious case of Henrietta Lacks. I believe that's her name. This is a woman... It's just interesting. There have been events in the news recently that are relevant to this. Henrietta Lacks was this woman who had breast cancer, who had a breast cancer biopsy. Uh, she later ended up dying of, of her cancer. And certain certain cancers are they they evolve the ability to basically live forever they 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 evolve these immortal cell lines and these researchers in the pathology lab managed to extract this immortal cell line of the cancer and it ended up being used uh, to to diagnose all breast cancers and this immortal cell line has been preserved for years and years and years and it's used in virtually every cancer diagnostics lab to this day to diagnose breast cancer. It's probably saved millions of lives. And this was simply part of a biopsy. And we're, we're expected to get angry about the fact that her, her cell line was preserved after her death. We're, we're expected to get angry about this. There's, there's all kinds of controversy about this um, coming from mainstream media. It's It's kind of strongly tinged with like a sexual liberation element like there's something sexist about about it i i don't know but it's just it's very self indulgent it's just it's weird it's it's uh, kind of self aggrandizing meanwhile the mutilated severed stolen foreskins of infant boys are being cultured in labs for neonatal fibroblasts to extract epidermal growth factors for use in vain women's skin cream and facial injections. The facial injection one is the one that made the news recently, which even I hadn't known about, I hadn't heard of previously. It doesn't surprise me. I, I never, the cream, I mean, the cream does not, you know, you're not going to penetrate anything. You're not going to do anything with the cream. That always seemed pointless to me, but th this is... This is making the news recently uh, sort of interesting. Doesn't surprise me for for women to literally uh, organ farm, harvest, and consume infant boys for their own vanity. And nobody sees a problem with it. Nobody sees the unbelievable sexist hypocrisy in this. Where th this country literally organ farms, harvests, and consumes infant boys for for female vanity and pleasure, and nobody sees the man-hating, misandrist, sexist violence in all this. Nobody cares. Uh, it's just horrific, and I, I mean, I think we as intactivists need to be making hay out of issues like this. Uh, these interesting issues come up, and they sort of take off organically, and people are inherently... Uh, kind of disgusted by this. I saw kind of mainstream political pundits retweeting stories about this. And, you know, we when things like this crop up, we need to be able to organically ratchet up the pressure. We need to be making videos. We need to be tweeting at people. We need to be calling, maybe calling representatives. I mean, I know in, in many ways we have, in many ways, maybe we haven't assembled the critical mass to do stuff like that, but that's how people find out about it. And again, mainstream political pundits, well, so we're kind of talking about it grossed out by it. Pretty much everybody that was talking about it was grossed out by it. And I'm thinking to myself, maybe we could we could pull some of the profit out of the entire industry at least by saying let's let's ban the trafficking and sale and use of quote discarded biomaterials, which I think is the phrase that these this fits under. They don't consider it organ trafficking, but but discarded by you can sell discarded biomaterials. Or we could reassert donors' rights. I mean, I guess to the extent that, uh, I mean, I don't know, it'd be a clarification of, who, of who's the donor here. Forcibly donating parts of other people's bodies. Is there is there any ethical problem there at all on the parents or the doctor's part? Is there, is there any, any ethical problem there at all? Does the adult man have, have ri rights over his donated tissue when he turns 18? These cell lines could still be being kept alive. Who knows? Maybe uh, um, if records are kept, uh, Discovery during a lawsuit could find that out. 
I don't know. I, I the, my point is we could be capitalizing on this. I, maybe maybe the ban maybe the ban and trafficking and sale of discarded by uh, unwanted or discarded biomaterials would be a good way, a great way to take a lot of profit out of it. And again, mainstream pundits are kind of on board. We as intactivists need to be stepping up to these opportunities and hyping the hell out of them when they come up. And they kind of blow up organically. So tell me what you think. Tell me in the comments. Take care.